what's up guys in this video i show you how to install the new php 7 with an wordpress installation and also apache 2 and mysql in under 10 minutes and to reach this we going through this course now and we show if we have here installed the ubuntu 16.04 version the lts version for the long term server support and we log it in and i show you that the server is not running currently we have not installed an apache server so i go to the firefox web browser and open the local host to see what's happened now and this takes some seconds I have tried Ubuntu here on a virtual host on the virtual box installed and here on localhost we have no connections. So what we need first is to install the Apache. So we need to write super commands for the root execution rights. We get here apt get install apache2 and hit enter button and we say yes 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 and going through this course next to php7 we install now we need also the sudo apt get and install lib apache2 minus mod minus php7.0 and php7.0 minus mysql and also php 7.0 the curl is not currently needed but i try i make it always with this extensions and the, the json extensions and we say yes and this takes some seconds depend on your internet line is kindly new downloaded directly from the server directly and as next we need to install the mysql server so we take always the sudo command in front. So sudo rpd jet install mysql server. This takes some seconds. MySQL server is over 150 megabyte big. And we can give him here a password. I don't need a password currently. And this takes a second password. This and in some seconds we have installed also mysql and then we need to create a database for wordpress and an extra user for the wordpress so we going now to mysql minus user is root and we are now on the mysql we can hear so the status and we see here we have installed currently mysql 5.6.28 and we create a database called wordpress and now we create an user so we make create user single quote i call the user wordpress single quote and now we need to give him the The access rights they can go from localhost and now we can go forward to identify it by and here comes the password i giving my wordpress password and with the semicolon we quit this command and query is okay and now we must give the WordPress user the privileges to to the WordPress database. We can make this to grant all privileges on WordPress. I give to all WordPress databases access because I want to install more than one WordPress to this host and to the WordPress when the WordPress is connected to the local host and then we need to flush privileges i'm not sure exactly if this needed currently or not but in all the releases we have uh, to do this as next we going forward to install the wordpress uh, standard is on apache is on slash var www slash html and we need to download now the wordpress itself so 
we need to the widget command if you have the widget command currently you need only sudo apt-get install widget and hit the enter button i have currently installed it and now we need a sudo get widget https slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz so you have always the latest version of the wordpress and we hit the enter button and it takes about uh, 10 seconds to download the 7 megabytes or lower or less and now and now we need to unzip the tar gz file so we're going to sudo tar xvfz and going to the latest and hit the enter button now let's check the permissions there are the permissions of the nobody and no group we need to give them permissions to the www data so we need to change own www data dot www data on the minus recursive for the wordpress and now let's try to installing WordPress. We have now here on Ubuntu. We log in again and try to reload. And here it's working. And we go now to the WordPress and see it's working or not. And this has to say MySQL is required by WordPress. We have installed it. What we not have done yet is to restart Apache. So we need a server apache 2 and restart and after the restart the models will be loaded and we can reload here the button and you will see we can installing now wordpress on uh, ubuntu let's go to the next and my new username we have created was wordpress and the password was my wordpress password and i let this to localhost and here we can define a prefix and we go to the next and now i can install the run with the install button and we have here ubuntu wordpress blogging and i try to giving my username i called it currently admin and here you need to do giving a strong password this is for me only a test server so i need a simple password admin123 and four and i must confirm this here of a weak password and here we can give him the email address if you have lost your password you can recover it here dot at and we can here enable or disable the search engines indexing and for the first i need this and hit the ok button and now we can try to log in to the wordpress admin admin and log in and yes we are here so that's it so you can install easily wordpress with php 7 apaches 2 and mysql on an newest ubuntu 16 server in under 10 minutes you don't believe it and no, hit the subscribe button and like me the video if you have something to discuss let me a comment and we see us in the next video thank you and bye bye